What's up guys, Edward here with another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to do this. So that's it and let's get started. What's going on guys, Edward here back with another tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to make your own intro for your YouTube videos or anything you're, you're gonna use it for. <coughs> okay, first we're going to download this template. It's called Clean Lower Third. I'm gonna give you the link on the description below. You're just gonna have to copy it, paste it in here and click enter and it will send you to this mega page. So I'm gonna click download. Once you click download it's gonna take just a little while and you're gonna get this file once you get this file double click in it to open it <clears throat> and then you're gonna get this little box in here you drag it and drop it into your desktop and then you just open it and then you are gonna continue all this process click continue English continue agree and then hit install once you hit install it's gonna take like a couple of seconds and then you're gonna be able to go into Final Cut Pro you're gonna go into titles and you're gonna see here Leno FX clean lower third this is the template we're gonna go we're gonna work for right here right so let's try to create a quick template all right so we're gonna drag here into the timeline mm -hmm. let's try to move this to the center we can change the size and let's change the size scale up here let's try to put this thing in the middle like so we can <clears throat> click here in text let's try to change it to let's say something like this we can move the size of, uh, <laughs> something like this something like this all right and the size you can choose anything i'm gonna leave it like that color let's say um, let's just try it out all right i'm gonna try this color and the subtitle you can i don't know let's try this <clears throat> you can change also the fonts, whichever fonts you want. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'll just not, not, not that one. What did I do? color to maybe I don't know something crazy here it's kind of green right and then let's try something different let's see what is the transition it gives you that cool effect and this is pretty simple but I love it Okay, let's try adding an image, for example. I'm gonna try adding this one. This one right here. This 
So we're going to create something like that. Okay, so let's give it a maybe another effect. I'm going to change. Sorry, transform. <coughs> Where did you go? Yeah. Alright, let's make this thing a little like that. Let's see. So there it goes. Something like that. Now, let's try to give it an effect to this image that we are using down here. Let's try to make a maybe a blur effect. Oh, no transition. Something, something kind of maybe this version blur. Right, but okay, we're gonna start from the beginning. We're gonna create a keyframe right here. Select, you see this selection, Gaussian blur. We are in this effect, right? So you see the blur in here is higher than this one. So we're gonna give it pretty sharp at the beginning, and then we're gonna. Create when I click in here in this plus, this is gonna create a keyframe and it's gonna start from sharp to blur. So let's move up maybe up to here and move this line a little bit higher. So it's gonna start creating going from sharp to blur. So let's keep moving a little higher again. A little higher, maybe up to here. We go to here, and then let's just stop it there. Maybe here, we can go all the way back to sharp. So let's start and hit play. Did you see? It's going from sharp to blur, and then again to sharp. It gives you that cool effect for the intro. You can add a song, any other type of sound, but that's pretty much it, guys. That's how it works. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments below. Give me a huge thumbs up. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Get to